Thank you for joining us. We're going to talk about translations again. And I say again because we've spoken about translations already when we were doing vectors. Okay, so I'm going to do this relatively quickly. And if you want to know more about translations, have a look at my playlist about vectors. Okay, but just to summarize again, we are doing transformations. And a transformation is nothing more than an object changing either position or shape and sometimes both. Okay, we've done reflections, we've done rotations, we're doing a translation now and then an enlargement later. Okay, now let's have a look. Yeah, I have prepared this triangle for you and I have to translate it using the column vector to one. And as I told you before, that that top number in that column vector is your horizontal translation and that bottom number is your vertical translation, yeah? Where positive means to the right. If it would be negative, it would be to the left. Positive is up. Would it have been negative, you would have gone down, okay? Now, a translation only is going to change the position of my object, not the shape. Okay, look, here we go. Again, I've done this before. That particular point, let's start with that. Two, one, so that means two to the right and then a one up. There we go, I'll do it in. Let me do it in pink, okay? There we go. Let's go for that point, two, one. So two to the right and one up, yeah? And basically I could just now uh, draw the triangle. Again, the shape doesn't change, does it? So that is two. This one is one, two, three up. So it's still going to be three up. There we go. And then my hypotenuse like that. Just to check that, this last vertex, two, one, so two horizontally, one up. There we go, yeah? So that is a translation and it's nothing more than that, yeah? Very quickly, another one. Let me just quickly um, sketch a rectangle for you. I say quickly, but it's not very quick, is it? Maybe you can think of a column vector for me to translate it under. Can you think of a column vector? Okay, just tell me, tell me, tell me. Can't hear you. What shall I do? Shall I make it positive, the first one? No, I'm gonna do it negative. I'm sure you understand why, because otherwise I don't have any space. I'm gonna make it positive or negative. Positive, very good, because I couldn't go down. Okay, minus three, two, let's say that is the column vector I have to translate this particular object under. Let me just label those, by the way. Let's say that is B. Okay, minus three, two. Let's do this vertex first. So that means minus three. So to the left, three, and then two up. It's going to be over there. What about this one? Minus three, and then two over there. What about that one? One, two, three, one and two. It's going to be over there. And this one, one, two, three, one and two. It's going to be over there. You see that? A translation, a type of transformation huh, where an object uh, a rectangle for instance, or a triangle, is going to change position or shape and with a translation, as you can see, it only changes the position. There we go. Vectors, translations, if you want to know more information, have a look at my vector playlist, okay? I have one more video with just a different approach and then we will move on to enlargements. I'll see you there.